After a year marred by militant attacks that left nations reeling and nerves rattled, New Year's celebrations in many of the world's major cities were held under extraordinarily tight security. Following a year of violence and heartache, security fears dampened the New Year's spirit in much of Europe, including France. Malgré le drame, in his New Year's message, French President Francois Hollande said the country was not finished with terrorism. He defended controversial plans to strip citizenship from those convicted of terrorism offenses. 60,000 police and soldiers were deployed across France, 11,000 of them in Paris. I feel very fine. There's a lot of security presence here and the crowd has been great. Everybody has been in a good mood so far, so it's nice to be here. Celebrations in Germany took on a somber note when police warned of a possible terror attack and evacuated two train stations in Munich an hour before midnight. Authorities say they received a tip from another country's intelligence service that Islamic State planned to attack Munich with up to seven suicide bombers. The stations reopened several hours later after the threat could not be substantiated. Happy New Year! Police in Belgium detained three people as part of an investigation into an alleged plot to carry out a suicide attack in Brussels on New Year's Eve. Authorities called off the usual New Year's Eve fireworks display in the capital, citing fears of a possible militant attack. Belgian police also announced the arrest of a tenth person in connection with the bloodbath in Paris in November. Across the Atlantic, officials canceled a New Year's Eve fireworks display in Rochester, New York, following the arrest of a 25-year-old man accused of planning to attack a restaurant there. New York's governor said the accused wanted to make a terrorist statement. This is a person who was a Muslim, was in the uh, state prison system, but then became rad radicalized through the Internet swore allegiance to uh, ISIL, uh, spoke over the internet with terrorist organizations, planned an attack, went out, bought the material, and planned to assassinate people on New Year's Eve night. Despite a New Year's Eve haunted by fears of terrorist attacks, there were still spectacular fireworks displays around the world ushering in 2016. In New York, more than a million people crowded into Times Square as the year-end celebration unfolded without a hitch. Alan Booknier reports. The transition to the new year was marked by the traditional descent of the lighted crystal ball. The event, broadcast on national television, went off without a hint of trouble, despite, or possibly because of, the heavy police presence. In Rio de Janeiro, more than two million people gathered at the world-famous Copacabana Beach. Tourists from all over the world came for the special celebration as Rio prepares to host this year's Olympic Games. It's so lovely and amazing. I love Brazil! London ushered in the new year with a gong from Big Ben and an impressive display of fireworks over the London Eye. Britain's astronaut aboard the International Space Station sent his greetings from outer space. I'd like to wish everybody on our beautiful planet Earth a very fun New Year's Eve and a happy, healthy 2016. Happy New Year. Closer to home, revelers in Beijing enjoyed a celebration at the Forbidden City. Uh, hello, 2016. In addition to the fireworks, they were also treated to singing and dancing performances. In Taiwan, crowds delighted in the display of lights set off from the iconic Taipei 101 skyscraper. And here in Hong Kong, more than 300,000 people were on both sides of Victoria Harbor to witness a dazzling fireworks display that marked the start of the new year. Alan Booknia, TVB News.